Hey everyone, this is Joe Askins from YoChicago.com and NewHomeNotebook.com standing on the Brown Line platform at uh, Southport Avenue in Lakeview. Looking uh, north right now down Southport. This is um, what they call the Southport Corridor, which is a uh, pretty thriving uh, commercial and retail area here in Lakeview. Uh, we're doing something a little different today instead of going and taking a look at a residential development. Mark and I are just going to uh, walk up and down the street and kind of take a look around to see uh, what types of neighborhood amenities are offered here on Southport. You'll find that a lot of realtors and developers like, like to promote their uh, proximity to the Southport Corridor in their listings, but uh, for people who don't get up into this neck of the woods, they might not know what all that entails. So we're going to take a look around. Also, uh, Joe Zekas was just telling us the other day that uh, he was having lunch with a friend of his who lives up here in the area, and he was saying that uh, at least on some parts of Southport, uh, primarily between Belmont and Addison, that um, a lot of popular or several popular restaurants and stores have closed down in recent months. So we're also going to kind of take a look here to see how many uh, vacant storefronts there are here but mainly just uh, kind of see what's out there. So follow us down and we will take a walk around. All right, so we're coming out here onto Southport already. Um, there's one boarded up storefront. Uh, the liquor store right down here. This is one of the uh, newer Brown Line stations. As you can see, um, the Paulina station just opened up this week down the line a bit. Let's see here advertisement for uh, the Southport collection over 20,000 square feet of new street retail. Can't tell uh, the, the storefronts right here are empty or occupied. They don't have signs outside them so I'd assume that uh, they are looking for tenants. I was uh, browsing Yelp before we came here. I uh, just wanted to kind of get a fix on uh, the types of stores here. It uh, seemed like it was a pretty good mix of restaurants, pubs, clothing stores. Um, what else would we have here? Cleaners, hair and nail salons, uh, toy stores, candy stores. So, shoe stores. You see here another papered up location here. Are there any grocery stores around here? Um, yeah, you gotta put me on the spot. Actually, there is. There's a jewel up north of here. Um, just on, I guess, the other side of uh, Addison. Another papered up, closed up, over here. Yeah, you've got a, uh, a Jewel, you've got a CVS up here. Southport falls in Lakeview. Yes. I uh, was talking with an agent at uh, the LV Logs a few months ago. Uh huh. He's a member of the Lakeview Chamber of Commerce. Yes. And uh, I think it was back in December, she was already telling me that, that uh, tons of, of clothing stores, boutiques, and uh, jewelry stores. Specifically, we're, we're closing down uh, within the Lakeview Chamber account. Really? Yeah. Lots of Wrig <coughs> Wrigleyville type bars, um, pub type places, sports bars. An empty Wamu. Here's my one destination spot in Southport. <laughs> the Julius Meinl? That's right. <laughs> House Green Coffee House. Yeah. All right, we got 
across Addison. So, you know, we're seeing some empty spaces. I, it's not a uh, it's not a wasteland up here by any stretch of the imagination. But in, in terms of, of why developers are, are always touting South Fork Corridor, mm -hmm. uh, even you know stretching that radius that, that you just described, and, and trying to trying to place their developments within the South, South Fork Corridor, you can kind of see why they do that. There's, sure. Seeing a CBS policy here, there's a bunch of. Bunch of neighborhood amenities. Oh, for, absolutely, absolutely. For people who value uh, being able to, to shop on foot. And you know, it's a um, at least on the weekends can be a nighttime destination. It, uh, it's a horror trying to park, find a space even here yeah. along Southport. Um, you know, nine or ten at night. Uh, really, the only reasons why I ever come up here. Uh, for this place off in the distance, the music, the music box, which, you know, really I haven't been there all that often, especially lately. Um, but I'll come up here for that. I'll come up here for Shubas, which is the other direction from us. Um, is that on Belmont? Yes. And you know, I'll go there maybe to see a show once every six months or so. Um, but those few times I do, it's always busy. You have to take your chances parking on a side street. Hallmark, Bank of America. Empty space over here. Um, release sign here. This is up here, we've got the Mercury, is that a theater? Yes, a, uh, a stage theater. The Blue Bayou had uh, some Cajun food there a couple times before going and seeing a, mu a movie at the Music Box. Uh, a true value. You know, it's, a, it's a good mix. Um, and you know, one of the things that people talk about with Southport is that um, you hear people in both neighborhoods kind of compare Southport in some ways to division, uh, partly because of the really wide sidewalks. You get um, some patio dining, cafe culture, cafe culture out here. Um, to me, it feels like there's kind of a uh, small town Main Street. It, yeah, a lot of absolutely a lot more than division. Um, it's a narrower street. Uh, oh, a huge neighborhood amenity coming up here. The other thing that they mention, as much as, if not more, than the Southport Corridor, right here, the James G. Blaine School. Very popular with parents, very well regarded school. Um, we did a post a while back drawing out the boundaries and showing you about the, I don't know, 10 or so uh, developments that were located within the school district. And then also, another important amenity, the DQ. 